Hello all you people, Kirby Summer back here with another video and I am here with my WWE Roadblock 2016 review. Now the pay-per-view was decent, there was some really good, really good, good, good wrestling on the card. Some of the matches didn't make sense, but of course live special throwing matches for the amusement of fans. The crowd was great because of course Canada, Canada's great. Um, first match start off the show, The New Day. Taking on Bad News Barrett and Sheamus. Um, I thought I heard something. Um, Bad News Barrett and Sheamus teaming up. Weird. Versus Rusev and Del Rio. I don't know. Um, of course, the New Day picking up the victory over Del. Not Del Rio. Um, Bad News Barrett and Sheamus. Second, um, I don't know how the matches went in order. Um, Chris Jericho ended up facing Jack Swagger because Jericho was cutting a promo when he had just randomly came out. He was talking about how he's the best in the world. Talk, just dissing AJ Styles because, you know, he, remember he attacked him not too long ago. Talking about how... So he said something about Jack Swagger. And Jack Swagger came out to have a match with Jericho. Of course, Jericho beating Swagger. Random match. Charlotte versus Natalia. That, um, in my opinion... Match of the night. If not, then it was Triple H versus Ambrose. Triple H versus Ambrose. Triple H won. That was a really good match. Ambrose put himself through the announce table with an elbow drop. And then was able to get back in the ring. But he got caught with a pedigree. One, two, three pedigree. But like I was saying, Natalya versus Charlotte. That was a really good match. Really good Divas match. For the Divas title, surprisingly, the tag team titles were on the line too. The New Day, like I said, won. Charlotte was able to win. You, you know, due to Ric Flair, his help and all that. But that Divas match was great. Um, Enzo and Big Cass, um, of course, losing again to Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder for the NXT Tag Team Championships because there are rumors about Enzo and Cass debuting on the main roster soon. They're probably going to be taking on the New Day at WrestleMania for those tag titles. Hopefully, Enzo and Cass finally, finally become champion because we've been waiting for it for a long, long time. Then we had Sami Zayn versus Stardust. I didn't I didn't really pay attention to this match, but I'm pretty sure Sami Zayn won. Yeah, I think, yeah, he did. Sami Zayn did win. Just a pointless match just to boost Sami Zayn. Because, um, you know, they got this whole Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens feud building up to WrestleMania. But I honestly really do want to see Styles in that match just for a triple threat. Just due to, like, you know, I've, I've explained it in my Akinator video I made not too long ago. Um, Zayn threw out Owens. And Owens throughout Styles. So, three way connection for the title, it would make sense. But if you did watch um, Robot Pay Per View by yourself on your own time, let me know what you thought of it. Rate it one, 1 out of 10 in the comments. If you are watching my results show and you thought the results are good or bad, just let me know in the comments of what you thought. So, I hope you like to subscribe. Catch you next video. Sorry for it being so late. I went to the Deadpool movie. The Deadpool movie, it was a really good movie. I was going to do a review and vlog that, but didn't really want to. Didn't want to get copyrighted in any way. Um, they would have like probably copyrighted me for the audio and the video, even if I didn't show any of the footage of the actual movie. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hope you like, subscribe, catch your next video. And sorry for the bath bathroom environment. You know, whatever. All right. Curse time for stopping out. See you guys.